Liz, over to you. Okay, thank you. The, this guy is the only one who can get me in the kitchen, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, Tupperware, more than just plastic containers and investors have taken notice. Look at the stock, Tupperware stock over just the past three months up 21%. And their third quarter income more than quadrupled year over year. They beat on both the top and bottom line when they released their numbers last week. Joining me now on a Fox Business exclusive is Rick Going, CEO of Tupperware Brands. On a most important point that you make, all of this stuff does not need electricity to run. And in fact, most of the countries that you sell to don't have electricity that is reliable, correct? True. I was in India last week. Half the women in India have no electric power or fresh potable water. Mm -hmm. And so when you enable her by putting a product together that uh, saves her time, uh, it changes your life. Well, it's just amazing that you can do all of this stuff. And look at their emerging market sales, 66% of total sales. You're huge in India right now. You just got back. What did you see? Well, now we've grown. It took us about five years to start breaking even, five years to get to scale. Now we have 180,000 women. So they're moving from the lower class to the middle class to leadership. It's, uh, it's having a dramatic do have, impact. Do they have Tupperware parties to sell all of this stuff? Yeah, but it's a little different twist because many don't have places where they live that are big enough to have six to eight of their friends. Mm -hmm. So they do it outside under tents. They do it outside. Interesting. Yeah. And you are in 100 countries, so I'm yes. sure that that is, that is repeated elsewhere. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the products that you have. And again, this is a storm story in a way because none of this really needs electricity. No. So well, show us. That's what changed so much. Most people, when they used to think about Apple, they would think about computers. Now you think of Apple, you think of all the new product categories they're in. Same with us. Food storage is only about a third of our business. All these new categories are what does it. I mean, Food what I have here. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'm going to quickly. This is if uh, you're going to be competent in the kitchen. <laughs> This, Notice how we said yes, as if. Going to be. Okay, there's some hope there. I'm going to make uh, by, by this a little gazpacho. We put in some onions, okay. cucumbers, celery. I like it okay. spicy. Now, interesting, I, will, I can sit there with this product here. And it's called what? This is quick chopper. Tight, tight shot, yeah, Jeff. Quick tight shot. Cho chopper. Every time I pull this, it equals a hundred cuts of a knife. So all of a sudden, I've got this where it's a lot different, and all I have to add is a little tomato juice okay. to it. I'll put one more there. You like it spicy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a little chipotle. Okay. And then... Tabasco. Tabasco. They said use two, right. but I'll use five. Tabasco yeah. from New Iberia, yeah. Louisiana, where the eye of Hurricane Andrew went over way back yeah. in the day. And there is hot sauce, Tabasco okay. sauce, and then I sit there and do this, and then... It makes it, if I can never get the top on, this oh, is it. <laughs> this looks like the thing my generator has in case that well, it's not working. <laughs> but every pull is. Now look what happens. What's great here, I'm going to give it to the cameraman Perfect. here in a minute. There <gasps> is gazpacho. Oh, fresh and beautiful. But, mm -hmm. but I could take that same, little put a little over. celery in it. And a little vodka. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Hey, you've had a bad night, no power. You can make Bloody Marys. These hot products yeah. all look good, but what is your number one selling product? And I would imagine that you might get a bump, at least in North America, where sales have been coming down about 3% in, in mostly established and developed mm -hmm. markets for storage of food at a time when people don't have electricity. Yeah, this is, it's interesting. We've had a lot of, given up what's happened, the devastation up mm -hmm. here, with the tsunamis in Indonesia, Bandarachi, we've had a lot of experience in dealing with those. And what people want is basics, water. So, I mean, this is hottest selling product in the world uh, is a, a water bottles, particularly in uh, China, India, mm -hmm. Indonesia, which are 40% of the world's population. Unlike these PET water bottles, mm -hmm. which people throw are away. Oh, and they litter the uh, 1,100 years before they disintegrate, mm -hmm. guaranteed for life with theirs. So, they'll replace it with those. We'll, to very basic countries, to high tech. In France, number one selling product, this turns a microwave oven into a steam oven, which in steam oven costs about $2,500. This costs one hundred and forty dollars. It just steams it right up. You know, steams it. An important point to be made was that they found a, a shipwrecked ship that had been submerged. Okay, and in it were two chocolate chip cookies in a sealed Tupperware. When they opened it for five years, it was submerged. They opened it, and the cookies were still soft. I ate one of them. <laughs>
<laughs> and you're still here today. Yeah, still, it was good. Well, the numbers are stunning, up 21%, yeah. of course, over just the past three months. We're wishing you luck there going into emerging markets and really pushing forward with Tupperware. Who would have thought? Rick, good to be here, and it's good to see it happening. Anytime. Come back. Rick yeah. Goings, the CEO of Tupperware, telling us the story of which there is a storm story attached right here exclusively on Fox Business.